gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead, episode 2. When we last left off, we arrived here at this farm, and some people are really shady. I, I don't know about you guys, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. It's just it's really shady, some of these people. How, how do they survive this long without bandits? How do they protect themselves? Yeah, they got a fence, but we got in here. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Yeah. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I try Mind to fix if it? I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. How do you know, man? Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Yeah, that'd be good. Alright, so we gotta find some rope and we gotta find some other stuff. This board. Obviously, gotta sand it down and all, but. Well, maybe I didn't wanna come up here. What's this? A bench? Ah, rope! This rope is perfect for the swing. I would have grabbed the ones on the left. They look bigger. This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? Yeah, no shit. This place was my daddy's life. Whoa. It meant everything to him. Creepy. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single story house. Is huh? that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. Oh, God. Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. Man, we could be raiders pretending to be good folks. Or they could be raiders pretending to be good folks. Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Yeah, man. I think we're done here. Oh. Cutscene type deal. I don't know why they don't just let me walk, but whatever. Alright, so now we need to find board. And we can go fix that. Let's go talk. To, uh, we'll talk to him after. Oh, what's this? Oh, wait, no. That's not good. I think that opens up. Yeah. It's gate. Let's talk to him. Let's see if there's, oh, wait. Board. Board! This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. There is a saw literally to your left, dude. Hmm. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> That was some pretty epic cutting. Alright, now let's go fix that swing. Can you, can you go faster? Come on now, Minecraft story mode, at least you can hold shift and you can walk faster. Alright, let's fix it. Alright, this shouldn't be too tough. Five years later. Well, I'll be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just no. trying to help out a bit around here. It wasn't me. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Don't Seems leave the like door open. Ago, Bugs man. will get in. Yeah, it does. It looks like a fence. You could have talked... Or a, a, a fence. Jesus. It looked like a screen. You could talk through it. Alright, let's go talk to Buddy over here. Not him. Oh? What's this? Hmm. Oi. Oh, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Let's go touch this. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Um. Yep, can't take any chances when it comes to safety. 
I don't know if any of you guys have ever been near an electric fence, but uh, before uh, I had a teacher who uh, had us over Thanksgiving, she had a huge yard and an electric fence, uh, sanctioning an awful part of it. I don't know why, but she did. And she gave us a blade of grass, and if you take the blade of grass and like slowly move it, like have it touch the electric fence and slowly move it, you can feel the electricity. Like it won't, it won't shock you. Don't hurt. It just like vibrates and hums. Let's see what this guy's up to. Hi, hi, hi. I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? No one fucks with us. We can carry and protect you. Uh, we can help protect you, We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about how yourself? They have. What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. The fence stops the walkers. Are we first guest? Let's go fix the perimeter. Um. I'm gonna assume it does. Are you? Yeah. You can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Um, An electric sure fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Nice. Let's go fix the... Uh, I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Yeah, we're just gonna go talk to this guy right here. I thought we had to. So what have do you it found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Oh. Uh, so. find out what this does. Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Oh. Just trying to find more ways to help out. Well, I appreciate that. Tell you what, we'll find you something to do over there after we get back from securing the perimeter. Sounds good. Can I do it again? No. Alright, let's go check out the generator. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with What's gas that? just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. All right, let's go secure the perimeter. Hi. Hi. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section. They're too friendly. And, uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. They're way too friendly. I don't trust them. At all. That's a huge farm, though. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? Several yeah, acres. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up <laughs> with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. Mm, work it out somehow. I try, I to, be try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. <laughs> oh, is There's that delicious? Ugh. That arrow. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? 
Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Andy said, when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Oh god, that would suck. Yeah, I'd use the axe too. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this Man. fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? It's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Um, the delaying the inevitable. You can take this place again. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. Yeah. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. I shouldn't have said that. Damn it. Oh, good. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Oh, let's chop it off. <laughs> Gross. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I can imagine it's pretty disgusting. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. I'm hungry too. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna be bad. If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Yeah, sure help here, Lee? Q -q -q, spam it. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh, oh shit. What the? Get to the gate. Grab those. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the uh, fence on, that gate is our only way out! I can do this all day! You really think oh, you can shit. fuck with us? <laughs> Get closer! Now there you are, boys! Quick! The blades are stuck in the dirt! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it must be heavy. Get out of the open. Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Sick oh, God. Dude, I would not be out there. What's that arrow doing? Whoa! What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move him. Oh, come on. 
That's so gross. Where do you think Dude. you're going? Nowhere. Just uh. Oh, How are you going with one now? Another one? Nowhere, How many of those things did we push down? Not this many. Oh shit! Get off! Get off! Ah uh, no! Oh, oh that's... You okay? Yeah. Bear. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's oh, thank you. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Close the gate. Cl close the gate. Close the gate. You're fine. Lee, what's wrong? Another uh, fish came on. The electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. I'll bet. <laughs> hey, Jesus. Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you <laughs> gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, the must be the what kind of shit is this? We oh, ran into God. some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. It is. So much for your deal. Those oh, shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. Oh, when geez. you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not it's safer safe. than the motel. This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor. <laughs> I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. You know, These shit. are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah. Oh, that's totally. Real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, kids. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Yeah. That's a good feeling. Those two just... Go touch the electrical fence for a couple of seconds. Don't let go, either. Let's see how's everybody doing over here. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. Well, well your hat. Will you push me on it? Sure. sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. No. Uh -huh. Get off that thing like a pro. All right. So how's this gonna work? How are you doing? What do you think of the dairy? What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. 
It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah, I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. She's a kid, I can't just I tell her no. Soon. Yeah, me too. She's traumatized enough as it is. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Been lucky out there. Would have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Oh, yeah. We have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. Yeah. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I wonder they... what happened to Mark happened to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> Let's go talk to Kenny and see how he's doing. What the hell are you doing? What? <laughs> you got problems walking. Hey. Hey, Lee. Found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. How are you hey, holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah. But I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm yeah. not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Yeah, yeah of, course. of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you've got a pretty clear head about these things. I wouldn't say that, but Did okay. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Uh, if everything works out, maybe he and Concha can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I'm gonna go have a look around. Hey. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'd be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. I'm sorry, but that motel is middle class compared to the fucking, you know, living on the streets. But I'm going to stop it here. We'll go around talking to everybody later. I know not too much happened. and I'm actually thinking about making these episodes longer. Maybe about half an hour long. I don't know. Um, but if you enjoyed it, which I hope you did, hit that like button. If you really, really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode.